this is um, neem powder and holy basil <clears throat> together mix now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it just to get a little uh, well, what do you call it on the fire here Carefully, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, we'll just take this one out. All right, and then you sprinkle a little bit of neem powder on it, like so. Well, that's uh, Actually, not so good to wait. Let wait until it uh, cools down a bit. I think it's too hot. It's burning. It. What I want to do is get some smoke going, and then it'll be like um, what do you call it? Incense. And it's going to fumigate the place, right? There's my little spoon here. Okay, so do it again. <clears throat> Probably will be better. Okay, let's see here. Right, here we go again. Yeah, that's better. See? So that's like, you know. In Ireland, when I was a kid, you'd go into the church, you know, the priest would be up there waving his silver, whatever you call it, with uh, frankincense. That was a lovely smell. But uh, frankincense also is a powerful antiviral. So you see, when you, when you, when you, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, breathe in the smoke of this, it hunts down. Say you say you you took on on board the uh, virus during the day when you were out. You had to go to work or whatever, and you know you, you met somebody and you didn't know they were might be asymptomatic. You wouldn't know they had it really, right? And you can go around your house and fumigate your house. Well, this smoke. Because of the neem plant and the holy basil plant, both are very powerful antiviral agents, we'll say. Because plants have their own intelligence. And some plants are, I, I suppose, the story is sort of like one plant would be good for doing one thing, another plant would be good, doing, good for doing another thing. It's the intelligence of the plant, you know. When I say the intelligence, I mean the the life force of the plant because everything is imbued with the intelligence of the creator, which I subscribe to. Like I subscribe to the idea that there's a creator of everything. And uh, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about, like, you know, just your imagination, you know. There's got to be something behind all of this. <laughs> And running inside of everything that's happening on in existence. And that's, you know, some people call it life force, prana, God, um, energy, you know, whatever. But basically, each sort of fractal of energy would have maybe be set up in a certain way. Let's see if it's still hot enough to burn some more. Yeah, see? Now, you don't want to overdo it, which I am doing it right here just for this um, demonstration. Because if you overdo it, it'll it'll start to, um, what do you call it, uh, detoxify you as well. You know, and you'll start to, maybe like me, 
sometimes I overdo this and I start falling around the house because my legs are sort of getting a bit weak. But that's the detoxification that's happening. That's how I understand it. I mean, you don't have to take my word for it, but that's how I understand it. So anyway, so neem powder, frankincense, holy basil, white sage, and uh, what was the other one? Well, turmeric powder actually too, which is like this. You know, maybe if you haven't seen turmeric powder, that's what it looks like. That will also work. Turmeric is an amazing antiviral as well. So anyway, let's leave it at that for now. And uh, good luck hunting viruses. <laughs>